Raiders are one of the most brutal enemies the Lone Wanderer will encounter in the Commonwealth. Rugged survivalists, they have been molded by the wasteland in something resembling a pack of rabid dogs. Nothing is too ruthless for the Raiders, whether it be dismembering other survivors unlucky enough to fall into their grasp, or forcefully breaking into the last remaining safe havens for survivors of the Great War, the Vaults. Smarter than they look, they survive the mutant beasts lurking the Commonwealth by setting up shop in highly defensible locations, such as pre-war military installations and schools, including the East Boston Preparatory School. As the Lone Wanderer embarks on his quest, he quickly realizes that he must combat these devils using more than just his wits. Sometimes he must use an alien blaster from the planet Zeta. Others he opts for more bang for his buck and whips out the Fat Man. Or maybe Grognak's axe. Auto shotguns work wonders as well. Anything to be rid of the Raider Plague once and for all. But southeast of Sanctuary, his long-forgotten home, and just southwest of Starlight Drive-In, the Lone Wanderer comes upon a site which tests his beliefs of the Raiders. A lone Raider rests beside the grave of a man she once knew. Possibly a lover, or a brother, or maybe just a friend, the site reminds the Lone Wanderer that Raiders, while vile excuses for humans, are deep down still humans, and that their lost humanity is as much a result of the war as anything. As he waits quietly by her side, she begins to speak about her lost comrade, and the lone wanderer begins to think that maybe raiders deserve a place in sanctuary. Don't think about it. Stay calm. Wasn't your fault. You did what you had to do. She even hums a lullaby in his honor. But at the end of the day, he realizes they're all just raider scum and they deserve nothing but a quick death.